you have gone to a concert of a group that you truly admire and look up to not just because like oh he's my own part or whatever but like when you really admire them look up to them and it's so crazy because ATs they're not like that much older than me it's only like one or two years older than me or even the same age as I am <laughs> I'm older than Jung Ho I don't want to talk about it but yeah it's just things like that that's just like kind of mind-blowing to think that these young boys boys who are my age boys that are only one or two years older than me have so much power you know i think that's why i stand them so much and that's why like i like them is because they're so different from like a lot of groups i don't know how to explain it like their stage presence is so different from like their off-camera presence if that makes sense I mean, even though at the concert they were on stage, but as soon as the performance was over and they were just like talking, it was just like so different, like two different kinds of people, but at the same time still one person. So it was just like amazing to see that live. Okay, I thought Hala Hala was like my favorite song. Like, okay, I like like Say My Name too, like the title track, but Hala Hala grabbed my attention like after the music video was released. But then after I went to this concert, I think promise is my new favorite song so my high touch experience this is where it gets so freaking amazing um if i i don't really remember because it happened so quickly but i'll try to remember the order of the that the members were standing in um so the reason why I won't talk about Yeosung is because he, during the Hala Hala stage, he had injured his hand so he was getting treated in the back, which meant he was not participating in the high touch, though I was bummed. I was just like, you know, it's okay, like, take care of yourself. There's always next time. <laughs> I hope you're okay and I hope the medical bill wasn't high. Um, okay, so the first person was Mingi. Like, Yo, when I saw it, I was like, oh fuck, why you gotta be first? Like, you're the love of my life. I 
And then next was Hong Joon. And then Woo Young. And then I I I don't remember if it was, if it was Song Hwa or San. But then the person after them was Jun Ho. I'm so sorry. I just like mixed their two names together. The person after them was Jung Ho. Or was it? Or Guys, I don't remember. But the last person was Jun Ho. So let me get into why the high touch experience was like the best part not because i was able to like you know see them like face to face like eye contact you know but because of this since yeo sung wasn't there did i say his name right oh my god yeo sung since yeo sung wasn't there we were allowed to do two hands so i had my bomber jacket and that was just like a hassle so i should have just tied it around my waist i could not think at the moment but as soon as like because there's like the blinds thing so like we so like you'll only be able to see them when it's almost your turn to go so then that's when i saw minky first and like listen it was so hot my hair was like this but i'm still like crusty so as soon as like the person in front of me was almost gonna go hard fight minky i was like and like all of them were looking because they're trying to see who was next and like <laughs> I bet I look so ugly bro like I'm so embarrassed that I did that but literally like as soon as that person in front of me was gonna go high five Mingi I was like because like my hair looks better if it's down like this and it was kind of wavy too like my hair is just like air dry but it, at the concert it was kind of wavy like from the curls that I did um yeah so i did that and i'm like mm -hmm. and like my plan was to actually do something for once because as you guys may know like when i do high touches i'm so freaking shy like i'm so starstruck by them especially if like my favorite member stars or like just any member in general because but yeah so i was just really starstruck like every time but like this time i was like bro i really have to do this like i was hyping myself in my head i was like girl if you don't do this i don't know who you are like get the hell out, jump off a cliff like who even are you like take this chance to make them remember you do something funny so here's when i did something and i do not regret it so what i did was because mingus first i was like bro like what the fuck do i do okay and then like because i had my bomber jacket in my hand and like i couldn't really do i couldn't really do what i really wanted because like my bomber jacket was there so i was like yeah like i said i was like happy myself in my head and, like even in the car i was talking about this like i'm about to hit them folks like i'm about to do that when i come to mingi like so he can remember me he probably won't <laughs> If you come across this video, Mingi, remember the girl that hit them folks. Okay, that was me. <laughs> but yeah, okay, listen. So, <laughs> making my way up to the table, right? And like, Mingi's first, and his tall ass is like this, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm five. I'm five five, like close to five six, but I'm five five. Like, I think I'm five six, but like, I'm... Five five close to five six, but his ass was like this, and then like I was just like literally like here, like you can't even see his head, like. <laughs> but yeah, that was like the high difference, and I was just like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so when I don't know why I keep saying this. Anyways, when it got to Mingi, well, like when I walked up to the table, and like everybody was staring at me. Every member was staring at me. Honestly, it was so hot, and I wonder why. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm like a little cray cray just thinking about this because <sighs> so when I went in those few seconds before I got to the table, I was thinking like, do I hit the folks first and then high five him or do I high five him and then hit the folks? But I was like, if I I five if I high five him, then I gotta move along. So as soon as I got to the table, I was like, ah! <laughs> and then Minky laughed, bro. He was just like, what this ugly bitch doing? <laughs> And then next was Hong Joon, and then that's when I was like, fuck, like, what the fuck do I see? Like, the moment in itself was so freaking slow, but as soon as I think back, like, everything happened so quickly. That's why I don't even remember if I saw Songhua or San. Like, when I got to Hong Joon, which was right after Mingi, I 
I lost it. Why? Let me tell you why. Because as soon as I, I, I think Hong Jung is, I think Hong Jung is a little shorter than me. Or maybe he's just, just a little, I don't know if you remember anymore, like, but our eyes literally met. Like, girl, he stared into my eyes with so much passion and love, and I was just like, me? You looked at me? But yeah, they'd be like, high five, like, with two hands or whatever um in the next i don't even remember who it was either song Kwa or son but my friend told me that son said have a good night to me so i think he was a person before jong ho which would mean oh yeah there was Wu young after hong Jun. so the only thing i remember seeing from Wu young was his nose like your boy kind of talk so like I saw his nose, I was like, that is the most fucking snatched nose I have ever seen in my entire existence. Like that's my friend's man, so I can't wait. But yeah, like and then like next was Song Hua or San. I don't remember. I think it was Song Hua, but I don't remember seeing him or looking into his eyes. Like that just happened so quick. And that man's tall, so I don't even think like I think my eyes were at his chest. But yeah, and then next was San. Oh yeah, duh, we high five. And then next was San, and then like, I think I tried to blurt out the words I love you or anything, like to the members that I was at, and like saying thank you, but like nothing came out because like my voice was gone. It was just like right after the concert. So I was just like, and then San was like, have a good night. <laughs> yes, bitch, I will have a good night. Thanks. Next with Jong Ho and girl, this is where I was like kind of terrified, but I was kind of into it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm wording it that way, but that's really how it felt like. But for real, he. Um yeah, and then that's why I was like kind of terrified when I got to him during the high toast. Like, boy, stop! You younger than me. <laughs> He's only a couple months younger than me, but I was like, stop! I don't like younger boys. But yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. But yeah, let me tell you what I was kind of terrified. You guys know John Holm. Like, he got like that dark stuff around his eye, you know? Just, like, it's either makeup or it's just like how his eyes is. And like, I don't mind it. Like, that's not even scary. Like, it's cute. Like, he has the cutest little puppy eyes ever. But like, when I got to him, I was thinking about like how he, during a concert or whatever. So when I got to him, I think he like bent down a little because like I'm a little, well, no, maybe he didn't bend down. Maybe that was just his height because I think he's not that much taller than me. But yeah, and then like, girl, he was like <laughs> staring me dead in the freaking eye like he was about to twer twer. He was about to tear me up, like not in a sexual way, but like he's a beast and like just like a prey and he's gonna kill me like that's the kind of stare i was getting but at the same time it was kind of the stare that you're the only girl in the world kind of stare <laughs> can't believe i'm saying if y'all want to come for me please come for me like you know i just had an amazing time i'm not delusional no, i'm not delusional or anything this is just how i describe it even though it sounds like i'm delusional i'm really not like i i know where i stand so <laughs> but yeah and then next was yoon ho and I didn't even realize this until I freaking left the table, like the high touch area. Your boy was bending down. Okay, listen. That's how fucking short like I am compared to him. He's like six feet, six feet tall, and I'm like so much shorter than that. So he's kind of like bent, and then like he had the prettiest freaking smile on his face. He's like my bias record, like. When I first got into ATs, I was like, okay. And, like, when I learned the names, I was like, okay, Mingi or Yoonho, you know. I was, like, torn between the two. But Mingi is, like, my true love, you know. So, when I got to him, he, he pulled the prettiest smile ever. Like, his hands were humongous. Like, my hand was, like, less. And, like, his fingers, like, that much taller than my, like, that's crazy. He got big hands. He could smack and I still say sorry. But, yeah. And he, like... As soon as you saw him, with him pulling the prettiest smile ever, it was like... That's what that moment felt like, and it was just an infinity in that moment. Like, that was like the longest freaking moment I ever had with the members. Like, besides the Mingi laughing at me thing, like... 
I, I don't think he said anything. I think he just smiled and like we high five. After Hongju and Mingi, the high fives were not like like it did not make it sound. They're just so soft and so cute. Like we didn't high five. We just pressed our hands together and that was it. But anyway, yeah. So after like the high touch thing and then like I was walking out of the building, I freaking remember that I didn't wish Yoonho a happy birthday and I was just like. You have one job as an 18 e like, you can't even wish him a happy birthday. What kind of person are you? Like, <sighs> but like, I, I, like, after leaving the concert, I feel so accomplished. Like, I was telling my friends, I was like, y'all, I feel so accomplished. They're like, why? I was like, I made Mingi laugh. And they're like, yeah, we saw him. And I was like, ah, <laughs> because I was the first one in our group that like was like, doing the high touch and like they're like yeah we saw and i was like yeah and like mission fucking accomplished like today is like the best fucking day of my life and i'm gonna remember forever like wow and i just hope mickey remembers me <laughs> that's like kind of extreme like but yeah that was like my experience like the high and like mainly the video was just me talking about like <laughs> my high touch experience rather than the concert because I have a fish brain memory so I was only able to remember the high touch because it wasn't like four hours long it was like 10 seconds <laughs>